Uh, Dr. Hisham Maya, thank you for joining us uh, today in the Dubai Smart Cities Forum. And uh, thank you for the time. Uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions to share with our uh, audience and students. And hopefully uh, things can emerge from there for better collaboration. Okay, great. Thank you very much for having me here. I'm delighted to be at this event. Looking forward to um, so, uh, following up on the discussion today earlier on uh, smart cities or what smart cities mean, um, and for, for us it means at least, and um, this is one of the definitions, there are, they are places where ICT, big data, citizen engagement, human capital development fuel society's innovation and ability to solve developmental problems, urban problems, public service problems in large metropolitan areas. Mm -hmm. Um, to enhance liv livability, sustainability, workability. This, this is one of the many definitions, probably an, an inclusive one. But with these numerous definitions, how do you see smart cities development? So our view on smart city is a city that addresses three major elements. The first one is the livability of the citizen, meaning creating really the environment for happy citizens. The second one is the economic prosperity. And the third one, is having a government which is able to transform continuously in order to provide the two other dimensions. So talking about platforms, so one needs to build a platform for the city. This platform cannot be an own, only a technical platform, an architect, but there needs to be an architecture around which will be able to address the three elements. Mm -hmm. So talking about the platform itself, it needs to fulfill different capabilities. The first one we call analytics, mm -hmm. meaning providing the right data at the right time in order for everybody who will be either a citizen or a civil servant when using the data to take the right decision. Mm -hmm. The second one is about applications, providing the right processes for everybody, whether it is a citizen or people from the government working with the system, mm -hmm. who will be able afterwards to run these processes, to be agents of this process and achieve the business target behind. The third one is about big data, we've mentioned that before, making data available using all the bunch of data that one has in order to tailor it to the adapted audience and also helping the people that way to take informed decisions based on much more information than what was available before. And of course, putting this all in the context of, for instance, a cloud technology, meaning enabling the growth, enabling the scalability and the flexibility mm -hmm. of this organization that is currently being set up for future challenges. Well, you mentioned data and uh, with uh, the number of uh, devices and um, things that generate data today in the world, yes. um, data it seems to be at the core of smart city development or at the core of uh, a policy, as a policy question for uh, what the policymakers need to look into. Uh, a smart cities utilizes data it shares it, 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 it collects it, it shares it, and it analyzes it, as you put it. Mm -hmm. um, and in order to do this, there are a lot of uh, policy questions in place. One of them is how to convince the different information silos in the, in the government or in the society to share this data uh, and collaborate for, uh, to achieve these goals. I think it's, it's very important. Data is a privacy, data privacy, and also data openness. Mm. It's a very important topic. Mm. Depending on the culture, one is more or less open to share their data. And as an example, in Europe, Germany is a country where people are very reluctant to share data. If you go to the US, people are more open, more willing to share the data. Mm. And I think what is very important is, first of all, transparency, creating full transparency about what is going to happen with the data, first thing. And the second thing is also the value this data mm. is going to provide. Mm. So what are we going to do with that? And creating really an idea inside the people that what data they are providing will be return an investment for themselves. So sharing this will be able everybody to use the data in order to contribute through innovations, maybe mm -hmm. create applications mm -hmm. for the government, for the city that helps afterwards to provide value to everybody. And that brings us to another question, related one. Is the regulatory infrastructure that requires or enables um, such collection and sharing and storing and managing the data mm. and then to analyze it and extract insights and plans for the future. Yes. Um, what are the required steps to or where do we start if there are any examples around the world that can be shared? Uh, where does it start developing the right regulatory infrastructure for data sharing, data openness? I think that the governance needs to be really 
taken into account very seriously by a security organization of the government itself mm -hmm. that takes very seriously the topic that we mentioned and mm -hmm. creates this transparency, also shows the value, and, but also gives the certainty to the people that these data are correctly managed. Mm -hmm. And I think for that a very, very rigid and very, very structured policy needs to be communicated to everybody so people can follow, the, the different entities will follow this and not misuse the data on the contrary, provide them the right way. So this is definitely a, a law topic, a legal topic that we can address. It is, and it's also connected to people. And uh, the other element or success or enabler of a smart city, mm. in a way, is the public engagement element, where uh, technology is, uh, 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 or using technology for public engagement mm. is at the DNA of a smart city that functions. Um, and with the increased penetration of information communication devices and tools and applications, uh, in a society, especially in urban places around the world, and especially mm -hmm. in this region, where Dubai and the UAE lead the region in terms of penetration rates of internet, mobile devices, uh, social media platforms. Uh, so the, the channels of engagements are available. How can we take, or how can a city that wants to be smart, can take advantage of these opportunities to understand what the public uh, require? I think it's important to keep a permanent dialogue with the, with the citizen, involve the citizen very early in initiative that's to be launched. It's good to have a vision, to have a strategy, how to achieve it, but it's important what we call the change management. Mm. So if you look at uh, a private company, or how you would normally do it, you would set up a change management program along the transformation where you integrate very early the users mm -hmm. and the people who are directly affected by this transformation in order to make it a success. And this is important for the government also to take this into consideration and involve very early selected users and mm -hmm. to be very citizens who will be part of a, a bigger forum or mm -hmm. organization that will continuously contribute to that. Mm -hmm. And it's important to have this from different age sections, to have this from different environment, different, so you will be able to cover all the, 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 the different uh, mm -hmm. uh, cultural aspects as well. Excellent. And uh, th the thing that comes to mind when thinking about a, a major initiative on an urban scale, such as, uh, for example, in Dubai, is that the lessons learned from um, the era of electronic governance development, mm -hmm. that uh, there are risks that should be taken into consideration when you embark on such a journey. Uh, and to learn some of the lessons from, from, these, from these times, uh, there are times where uh, such initiatives are seen as a technological missions, uh, rather than a developmental mm -hmm. one or a multifaceted ones. And there are times when uh, copying uh, a best practice while ignoring the local context yep. is also causing failures. Yes. And there are areas where vendor-driven is very hard rather than, you know, uh, than that the government or, or the people working on the development is taking the lead. So with these barriers and risks in mind, where do you think uh, a city should start when developing or embarking in such a journey? I think it's important to start putting the citizen in the middle. So everything is around the human being who lives there, who is normally contributing to the development of the city. It's not an organization, but it's the person mm -hmm. uh, who afterwards, with his work, with his life, will contribute to the success of the city and of the economic of the city around. Mm -hmm. And putting him in the center of the de definition of all the services, this is very important. Mm -hmm. But on the other side, you need all the leaders who think ahead. Otherwise, you will stuck in a certain status quo for today, who will then define the vision. That's why it's important to always to have a vision, but during this transformation, you always check with the, what the citizen really want, mm -hmm. to be in line with that, and also to guide him, to help him thrive and to help him to, to develop towards something that is new for him and adds value to his life. Excellent. And at this point, I think this is where Dubai has one of the key enablers, which is uh, a leadership and a vision towards the building the city of the yes. future and many other elements of success, such as the infrastructure, the technology infrastructure, mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, the, uh, the people engagement element or channels that are put in place as well. Uh, but there are also questions regarding capacity uh, and human resources yeah. uh, and financial resources, etc., and how this is to be dealt with as well as the culture that exists within, yeah. the, within the public sector uh, of collaboration, how to increase collaboration, how to get everybody aligned. So, how to deal with these barriers and ch challenges globally, they, are, they exist as well. So how can we deal with them? I think first you mentioned is talent. It's really developing talent. It's about education, about skills improvement. Mm -hmm. So developing the right skills 
you know, and also to retain these talents. Mm. So it's not only enough to develop, but also to make these people be productive afterwards. So it's important to create the right environment. So as we see it's like a, a cycle here. You create the right environment for people to, to thrive, to develop themselves, and they themselves will de be mm. contributing. Mm. So education is one of the main topics. And also give people afterwards the environment in order to develop, to further develop yeah. their ideas, you know, like giving them platforms in yeah. order to develop ideas for startups, for mm -hmm. instance. This is a very important topic and this way they really contribute to the economic growth of the city and help themselves to drive afterwards the development to a smarter city. So giving this platform, the infrastructure, giving the processes, giving the, the funds for this is, is, is absolutely crucial. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, hopefully we'll be able to uh, embark on this journey in Dubai as, a, as, a, as an example for the region. And uh, I would like to thank you at the end of this, uh, uh, this interview, Dr. Hisham Maya, uh, Head of Business Transformation Services at SAP uh, Europe, Middle East and Africa. And thank you for joining us again in the Dubai Smart Cities uh, Forum. And hopefully we'll be uh, in touch in the future for more collaboration. Thank you very much for the pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. A city of the future is our smart city is a place where uh, the city can utilize uh, information and communication technologies, big data analysis, citizen engagement, human capital development, all to fuel innovation in society and to solve societal problems and public policy problems and public service problems uh, to enhance livability, workability and sustainability of the city. Dubai has many of the elements that requires or the enablers that uh, are required in place. We have strong leadership, we have a vision for the future of the city, and we have the infrastructure. However, there are challenges and there are uh, lessons to be learned in going to the future. At the Mohammed bin Rashid School of Government and the Dubai uh, Smart Cities Forum that we've started could be an area where research and insight can be brought together for the policymakers in, in one place uh, to develop the future plan or support the future plans of the Dubai Smart City.